Good morning, everyone. We are live today um, with Vitamix. We have a special treat for you. Uh, no pun intended, but we do have a special treat for you. We have Vitamix with us today. And Tarina, the Vitamix rep, she will be going through some recipes, showing you how to make a full day's worth of meals with just the Vitamix. So I'm going to turn it over to Tarina and let her introduce herself. Awesome. Thanks, Leah. I am so excited to be here with you guys today in Facebook land. Uh, normally, we get to come directly to your exchange to do demos like this, but the world is changing. So here we are in my kitchen. Um, my name's Tarina, like Leah said, and I'm from the Philadelphia area of Pennsylvania. And I've worked for Vitamix for about 10 years now, and I use my Vitamix machine pretty much every single day, uh, especially these days, I've been using it multiple times a day. So like Leah said, I want to run you through some recipes, some things that I make in a day and just get you guys excited about Vitamix. So I'm going to start off making a smoothie and I'm going to do a green smoothie. This is something that a lot of our Vitamix owners use. And what a lot of people buy a Vitamix specifically for is green smoothies. Now this is our A2500 and we do have a special promotion going on right now for Athe's members. So if you go uh, online, you'll be able to see our exclusive pricing, but the discount is gigantic. It's over $150 off when you pick up your machine. So we're really excited. And this is our slate color. We also have it in black, but let's make you guys a smoothie. So I'm going to start out with an orange. And one thing that's unique about Vitamix is you can put in whole fruits. There's a lot of blenders you'll see with a blade stack or a juicer where you have to cut things up to fit it in. Anything that fits in the top of this container can go in. So we're popping in our whole orange big chunk of pineapple with the core. There's nutrients in the seeds and the peels and the skins. So we wanna include all of that. This is a lime and limes are a great flavor maker. We're gonna to toss this little ring of lime with the skin and that skin is gonna give us a huge pop of flavor and make it taste really good. All right, everybody's favorite smoothie ingredient, a banana going in. And this is a mixture of spinach and kale. Uh, it's what was on sale at the grocery store yesterday. So I picked it up. And uh, you can use any greens you want in your green smoothie. And uh, I love the Vitamix because you can fill this all the way to the top. This has a max capacity of 64 ounces. So you can pack this full enough to feed the whole family. The last thing I'm gonna put in here today is some mint leaves. Now, if anybody out there is a gardener, they know <laughs> mint goes crazy in the summer. I have so much mint in my garden right now. So this morning when I was out there, I grabbed some mint. So I'm tossing that in as well. And last but not least, we're going to add in some ice. And big chunks of ice can go in. The Vitamix blends frozen fruit really well. So if you wanted to top this off with some frozen pineapple or frozen strawberries, that's a good option for you as well. All right. This is the best part. We're going to blend it up. Now, with your Vitamix A2500, you have some options on here to actually let the machine make things for you. So we actually have a smoothie, a frozen dessert and a hot soup setting. There's also uh, manual settings where you can just put it on speed one and turn it up to 10, but we'll go ahead and use the smoothie setting, super easy. We're gonna turn it to the smoothie and then just press our start button. And while this is blending, I'm gonna send it back to Leah and Larissa to tell you guys about the package and answer some of your questions. Welcome to, uh, to our show today. We're excited to have everybody here uh, watching Tarina do her action with the Ascent Series 2500 Vitamix. Uh, my name is Larissa Waller and I've been with Vitamix for pushing 25 years this fall. Um, I'm located out here in Dallas, Texas. And uh, we're really excited to be doing this for everyone today. So, I'm in Dallas too, Tarina. I mean, Larissa, I'm in Dallas hey too. Hey, neighbor. <laughs> so you guys, if you're joining us, if you have any questions for Tarina or for Larissa throughout the broadcast, just let us know because we'll be reading those out loud. Larissa and I are watching the comments and um, we want we want to make sure that we're getting your, your questions answered. So it looks like Tarina is finished. So let's shoot it back over there to her. Oh, 
Larissa, Tarina, there we go. All right. Are we good? We're good. We can hear you now. All right. Awesome. So one of the cool things about the A2500 is this ran the smoothie cycle and then it turned itself off automatically. So while it was blending, I rinsed off my tamper tool. I got my glass and my straw ready to go. And now we're ready to serve. And look at this silky smooth texture. Now you saw we had this filled to the top of the Vitamix container, 64 ounces, completely silky smooth. No chunks, no lumps, no bumps. It's great for that picky eater in your household, picky kids, picky husbands. We all have them, right? So what a great way to start the day. I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Mm. Tarina, Let me tell do you, you that want mint. to show us, um, do you want to show us that on your close-up camera? Oh, sure. Here we go. So <laughs> check it out. We've got a full glass all the way to the top here and it is so silky smooth. It's delicious. And you can see the little bubbles in there it makes it taste even better so that is a great way to start out your morning with a green smoothie now when you're ready for something else you can uh like say it's a saturday and you want to do more than just a smoothie smoothie is a great way to start out but let's talk about making pancakes now there's so many different batters and doughs and recipes like that that you can make in your vitamix and i actually made some pancakes earlier this morning when I was getting ready. And these are buttermilk pancakes. This recipe is in the Vitamix recipe book. It's so simple, makes, they're so fluffy. You can see here, I'll show you on this camera actually. You can see how fluffy they are and they're stacked up here ready to go. What I'm gonna do next is make some syrup to put on these pancakes. So we're gonna make a fresh fruit syrup. So watch how this works. I wanna talk about also one of our accessories for the A2500. So this model has smart blend technology. What that means is it can interact with different blades, different containers, different cups like this that will fit right on this machine and blend whatever you want. So all of these can be purchased by the way through your exchange. Everything has exclusive discounts and pricing just for members of the military. So really exciting prices that you're able to get. To make a fruit syrup, Sorry, Remind us again what that model is, what that Vitamix model is. So this is the A2500, okay. and it does come today with your recipe book. This is the recipe book that'll come in the box. You're also going to get a 10-year full warranty, and our warranty covers everything top to bottom. So anything happens, Vitamix will actually pay to ship it both ways, and they will fix it for you, get it back to you for that 10-year period, which is amazing. So it's 2020, y'all, and 2030 your warranty is still going to be going strong, which is awesome. So what I'm showing off is a strawberry fruit syrup. You saw me pour in some strawberries. Now these were uh, frozen this morning. I took them out, actually popped them in my microwave just to speed it up uh, the thawing process. And this is a little less than a quarter cup of sugar. And what I love about this is when you go to a restaurant and you get fresh pancakes with a nice fruit syrup, you don't know exactly what's in that fruit syrup. If you bought a strawberry syrup in the store, Again, you just, you never can be sure what kind of preservatives or chemicals they put in there. This is just strawberries and sugar. And I did use organic sugar, not to brag, but you can use whatever you have in the house. And that's a way that you know you're feeding your family healthy every day. And this is gonna be such a treat. So this is our 20 ounce cup and there's some arrows on this. So you wanna make sure you line up the arrows properly. You're not gonna be able to see them on camera, but once you have it lined up, you'll see these three zeros. And that means we're ready to blend. So this one only is gonna blend for a couple seconds. We're gonna start it at a speed one. I'm gonna crank it up here. Now if you want to, you can actually heat it in your Vitamix. If you use a big container and you're making a big huge batch, you can actually heat your syrups in here as well. And we're gonna talk about how to cook in the Vitamix later in the show. I'm actually gonna cook a hot soup. But for now, it looks like our strawberry syrup is done and ready to go. So. The, if you wanted to pick up a set of these blending cups, you can actually get a set right through your exchange. It's going to come with one of these blending blades and two of these cups. Exclusive pricing. It's about $50 off retail when you get it through your exchange. So that's really exciting stuff. So you can check it out. Each cup comes with one of these lids. I love it. I use this to make salad dressings, almond milk, and then you can store it right in the fridge just like this. Or, of course, your to-go smoothie. So. 
since we have it in this convenient, pourable container here, we're gonna just pour this out onto the pancakes and let's actually show this at our other camera so you can see how good this looks. Now, you'll notice there's no seeds. You don't see a single strawberry seed in there. It just perfectly blends it and you get that perfect texture. And what a great tradition to have with your family, right? Making pancakes on a Saturday. You know, when I was growing up, we used to make pancakes every Saturday. My dad would make us walnut wheat pancakes. They were so good. But with the Vitamix, it's even easier. So we're going to save that strawberry syrup and use it for something else a little later. But next, I'm going to show you how to do peanut butter. One great thing about the promotion we have going is that it comes with our 48 ounce container for free. So this package with your A2500 through your exchange, you're actually gonna get a second container. So you'll get your 64 ounce container, which is this one here. So that's gonna come in the box with your cookbook, with your 10 year warranty, you're gonna get your tamper tool. And then because you are a member of the military, we're also gonna give you one of these 48 ounce containers at no charge. This is a free gift with purchase. And I'm gonna show you something really neat you can do in here right now. And that is peanut butter. So wait till you see this. It's so amazing. So here's my peanuts. All right. I have four cups of peanuts. There's no oil in here, just nuts. And it's so cool how this works. We're gonna put these in here. And this is how simple it is to make peanut butter. You put your nuts in your container, secure the lid and you turn it on. It's gonna take about maybe 45 seconds to a minute and a half to grind these four cups of peanuts into nut butter. And while it's grinding, I will have Larissa and Leah talk about the package. They'll answer some of your questions. We would love to hear from you guys. If you have a Vitamix, let us know how long you've had it. If you have any questions, if you have a favorite recipe, please share it with us. We'd love to call it out while we're live. So I'm gonna turn this on and make some amazing creamy peanut butter. And when I come back, I'm going to show you how it pours out of the container. So I'm going to send it back to Larissa and Leah, and I'm going to get this started. Thanks, Tarina. We've got Erica asking, uh, does the same self-detect blade work with the 8-ounce cup and 20-ounce cup? Erica, yes, it does. So you could actually buy, buy, purchase one of the cup kits and then just the accessory cups because the blade is interchangeable between the two sizes of uh, containers. And those work on any of the Ascent series. Um, they're excellent for making like baby foods, chopping garlic, small amounts of uh, chopping or blending. Now with the peanut butter, one of my favorite things to do with the peanut butter, it comes out warm, so it's nice and warm and creamy. I drizzle it over ice cream, like an ice cream topping, and uh, my kids absolutely love it. You could even dip apples in it and use it as a dip. Um, the peanut butter has no added oils. It'll last in the refrigerator about a month if you don't eat it all within the first 24 hours, but it is absolutely delicious. Uh, you could do almond butter, cashew butter, you can mix them. And um, the Vitamix is great at making nut butters because it does handle heavy loads and high torque ingredients like hummus and very thick, thick types of recipes. So I also see a comment from Julie who says, my dad made French toast for us every weekend. Amazing how many memories are linked to food. I agree. I love food <laughs> <laughs> and I'm excited. I want to get a Vitamix. I full disclosure, I don't have one yet, but I'm probably getting one from this promotion, um, which starts today, by the way, if you're watching the promotion starts today. So you'll want to check out those prices. We put the links to all the products featured and all of the Vitamix products. We put those in the comment section for you. Larissa, it looks like Tarina is ready to go. So we're going to toss it back over there. Awesome. All right. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Sweet. So this peanut butter, like I said, it took about, I don't know, 45 seconds, maybe a minute and a half to blend. And it is so creamy. And Leah, I'm going to ask you to send it over to that other camera for me because I want everyone to see this pour out of this container. So let's just, there we go. There we go. 
Do you see that? Unbelievable. And this is warm too. Warm, fresh peanut butter. There's nothing like it. It smells so good and so creamy. And there is a little bit of peanut butter that's left in here. And we're going to save that for later. We're actually going to make an ice cream out of this. So for now, I'm going to tuck this away underneath of my little countertop here. And I'm going to make you some salsa next. But this is such a great snack, by the way. I love peanut for the fresh, hot peanut butter with some apples tastes amazing so we are gonna do a salsa next so so this peanut my... butter is exactly yeah. why I want a Vitamix the peanut butter <laughs> <laughs> yeah no kidding it's amazing um all right so let's get our tomatoes and everything ready for the salsa boom there we go and I got my salt here okay so as you guys are probably starting to notice, Vitamix is a lot more than a blender. It looks like a blender, but it is basically 10 appliances in one. It chops, it dices, it's a food processor. You can actually grind meat in here. You can make things like pesto sauce, hummus, salsa, guacamole, which is we're going to make salsa right now. Um, and it's so simple. I did a little quick prep of some things. This is just tomatoes, onions, a little lime and jalapeno but the recipe really makes it simple. So what we're gonna do is start by putting in our jalapeno. This is a half of an onion and I just gave it a really easy chop. I didn't have to chop it enough to make me cry, which is one of the reasons I love my Vitamix because it helps me not cry when I'm dicing onions. You can do a mirepoix for your soup in here. If you wanna dice up uh, onion, celery, and carrot, the Vitamix does a great job with that as well. Okay, so to start out, we're gonna make our little base here. So I put about six of my tomato quarters with my onion, my jalapeno, and about a quarter cup of cilantro is what we'll put in here as well. And we'll do a little salt. The recipe calls for salt to taste. So depending on how much salt you like, you can put in however much you want. And now we're gonna secure the lid and turn this on to a speed one or two, whatever you think is best. The higher the speed, the smaller the chunk. So we're going to start at speed one and just crank it up. Tarina, Tarina, you're on mute now. You're on mute. There you we go. Now? Sorry, I wasn't sure how loud the blend was. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. So I was just saying, now that we have this chopped up, we are going to add the rest of our tomatoes. So basically we wanted a, a, light, a slightly smaller chop of all of our onions and our cilantro. We wanted that chopped up, but now we'll add the rest of our tomatoes and we're gonna use our pulse feature, which is why the Vitamix is so much more than a blender. That pulse feature allows you to really put however much um, texture you want or make it smooth if you want. So you really get to decide. I almost forgot the most important thing for salsa is the, the lime. So um, the recipe actually calls for like a tablespoon of lemon juice, I think, but I had this lime cut from my smoothie. So why waste it? So I'm just gonna squeeze this in here. But if you wanted to follow the recipe exactly, I think it's a tablespoon of a lemon juice it tells you to put in. So we're going with about a tablespoon of lime instead today. Perfect. And let's pulse this up. So to mix this together, the recipe book recommends to put it to about a three or a four and hit pulse. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we're just gonna pulse it until it gets to the texture that we want. And this really allows you to do it however you and your family like. I like a chunky salsa. If you like more of a restaurant style salsa, pulse it a few less times or put it on a speed one and you're gonna get slightly bigger chunks. So let's serve this up here. And again, this is a great snack. I love uh, Mexican style food, Tex-Mex. It is my favorite. I'm sure you guys in Texas agree that Tex-Mex is the bomb. So here we go. We got a couple of chips, a little garnish on top. Delicious. And we can go ahead and get a, an angle from that other camera if you want real quick, just so they can see that texture that came out. So you see that everything is incorporated. It's nice and chunky. It looks ready to eat. I know I'm going to eat some of this later. So the next thing I want to show you is a hot soup. And um, 
the Vitamix actually cooks hot soup from scratch just by the speed of the blades. So we're going to go ahead and um, I want to show you guys how easy this is to clean first because I haven't showed you that yet. So let me show you the cleanup with your Vitamix. All you have to do is take this to your sink and my sink's right behind me here. So you can see, I'm just going to rinse out the chunks and then I'm going to put in about two cups of warm water and a tiny drop of dish soap, just one squirt is what I use. And then secure my lid here. And I'm just gonna turn it on for a couple seconds. Leah, I don't even know if you'll have to mute me because this is gonna be really quick. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, the dishes are done. It's that simple to clean your Vitamix. And this is why you're gonna use it. I know I have made the mistake of buying a lot of appliances that I thought I was gonna use they wound up in appliance land under my kitchen cabinets. I'm sure some of you can relate. Uh, Vitamix is not that appliance. It's easy to use and it's easy to clean. And that's why you're going to use your Vitamix every single day. Keep it on the counter. You're going to love it. Now, this is our under the counter model. So our A2500 is designed perfectly to fit right under the cabinets on your counter. And that's another reason why you're going to use it way more often. So let's cook up a soup. And I love making soup in my Vitamix. I do this at least twice a week. And this soup is a classic Vitamix recipe. It's tortilla soup, my absolute favorite. We're gonna start with some whole veggies. One of the cool things about this is you can put in your veggies whole. You notice I have a knife and cutting board sitting here. I actually haven't used it once during this whole demo uh, because this is just so easy. You don't need it. We're gonna do a clove of garlic. So that was carrot, celery a whole Roma tomato, a clove of garlic. I even put the skin in there. It's gonna just grind it up, so why not? I didn't cut the top off my carrot. Just wash all your vegetables and throw them in. Listen, you pay for your produce by the pound. With your Vitamix, you can actually get the whole pound of produce. It's amazing. This is a chicken bouillon cube. You can use broth or bouillon, whatever you have to make your soup. We're making it really simple with our bouillon. And then taco seasoning, whatever taco seasoning you like, you can get it right from a packet. This is my favorite kind. And that's the base of my soup. Now we're going to put in some water and you see I'm using a tea kettle. This is slightly warm. I warmed it up about an hour ago. That's going to speed up our process here for everyone so that you can see it sooner. And you'll notice a little bit of steam coming out. When this is done, there's going to be twice as much steam because the Vitamix actually heats from friction. It cooks just by the power and speed of the blades. So if you take your hands at home, rub your hands together, you're going to feel warmth come from that. That's actually how the Vitamix cooks. It's the friction from the blades moving that creates heat. And so we're going to be able to create a hot soup from scratch in about three minutes here because you're using warm water. And let me show you here. When you set this to your hot soup setting, it sets the timer for five minutes and 45 seconds. So that means if you're using cold water or broth from your refrigerator, set it to the soup setting, press start, walk away, set the table, take the dog out, wash the kids' hands before dinner. That's more important than ever now, right? So you can do whatever you need to do. And this is going to cook for you. Touch of a button. So I'm going to press this button to turn it on, clean up, get ready for my next recipe. And I'm going to send it back to Leah and Larissa while this blends up. So let's get it started. Larissa, do you see the question uh, from Erica? She's asking about um, peanut butter and hummus and making smaller batches than the 48 ounce. Um, can you do an even smaller batch in the 20 ounce or does that really only work for stuff like smoothies? No, absolutely. You can do peanut butter. Um, you can also do it in the eight ounce bowl. You could do peanut butter without using the tamper that just would be enough for like one or two servings. Uh, so you can do smaller amounts in the eight and the 20 ounce attachments. Uh, even if it's just making a small batch of whipped cream, I know that making a large amount or a small amount in a large container can be difficult. So that's why those small containers really come in handy for smaller amounts. Awesome. And then, so we have Simone who's asking which blender comes with the extra container. Is that's the 2,500 that Larissa, I mean, that Tarina is using, is that correct? That is correct. The Ascent 2,500 uh, is the 48 ounce container as well as the 64 ounce container are included with the, the promo purchase. 
excellent value uh, for what you're getting. And for those of you who aren't really familiar with Vitamix, we're actually coming upon our 100th year anniversary in 2021. So we're really excited. It's uh, we've got four generation family owned company based out of Cleveland, Ohio. So it's a USA product and a pretty amazing company. So when you buy the Vitamix, you're not just getting a great machine. You're really getting a, an excellent customer service that will back it up and a family community to help you out with recipes. And that ties into us because at the exchange, we're celebrating our 125th anniversary next month. Um, one, one month from today, I believe, July 25th. What is today's date? The 26th. Fabulous. So in one month, we are celebrating 125 years. So we're proud to partner with, you know, with companies who've been around for 100 years now. <laughs> and for those of you who have a Vitamix, if you join our, join our Vitamix rewards program, you can get tips and tricks and learn how to do techniques and get all kinds of new recipes. It looks like Tarina is ready to go. So yes, let's turn it back over there. Awesome. Okay. okay what do so you have for us? I'm going to take this off so that you can see the steam against my black shirt. Cause it's, it usually helps, but you see that steam. Woo! Just got a facial. Um, so amazing. It gets so hot. And again, that's the friction from the blade speed that cooks your soup. Oh, this smells amazing. This is going to be my lunch y'all. All right. So, so I wasn't keeping track of that time, but about how long was that Tarina? That was about two minutes that we let it run. And that was with slightly warm water. So now it's hot, hot. It's not going to burn your hand, but you can feel how hot it is. If we would have let that go the full cycle with cold water, you would get about the same result in steam. So I'm gonna add some more stuff. Now, I grilled some chicken last night on my grill. So I have a couple chunks of chicken in here. I have some black beans and corn. Um, if you like chunky soup, here's the time you wanna add your, your chunks to it. A lot of people ask us, does the Vitamix only make smooth soups like a bisque? And no, you can add your texture and your chunk. I'm gonna put a little cilantro in here. I'm gonna put in my chicken and my beans and corn. And now we're gonna, utilize that pulse feature again. And that's, I love the versatility of the Vitamix because we just made a creamy soup base and now we're gonna turn it into a chunky soup. Pretty amazing. So we're just gonna pulse this on a one or two a couple times. Perfect. And that actually shreds up that chicken. Last thing I'm gonna add in here is our tortilla chips. This is tortilla soup after all. So we're gonna put in a generous serving. I like, I like salty food. So I'm gonna put in those chips. But the cool thing, I just said I love salty food. It's, it's true, I do. But when I make stuff from scratch at home, I'm not getting the added sodium that's just underlying in every single can of food that you buy at the store. I know exactly how much sodium is in here. I know exactly the ingredients I put in. I was able to use fresh vegetables. At the end of the week, I like to make what I call a must-go soup. Larissa, you know about must-go soup, right? Absolutely. You look in your kitchen once a week and what must go, you throw it in your soup. That is right. So must go soup is great. We're pouring this out. Oh, this looks so good. <laughs> I cannot wait to eat this. And I'm going to put a little bit of cheddar cheese on top as well. Um, you can add anything that you want. A dollop of sour cream is great. A little bit of cilantro will make it look pretty. And uh, here we can do this over here on this camera just so everyone can see kind of here let me just tip the camera yeah I was gonna oh there we there go, we go. Ooh. oh my goodness I'm hungry I don't know <laughs> I'm hungry <laughs> I know I'm so ready to eat this soup so uh I do have one last recipe and I'm so excited to make it for you all it is our ice cream and I'm just gonna tuck this under here and save it because we don't want to waste any of the soup so but while remember, you're, um, while you're getting ready for that, we do have a question from Mike, uh, Mike Torres, and he says, um, can you tell me approximately the cost? So I just wanted to address that, Mike, we will have someone get you the link to the product in the com in your comment. That way you can check it out, but it's a uh, $50 off. Am I right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct. $50 yeah. $50 so off. Plus you're getting the free container right? That's right. So okay. every day, anybody who shops through shop my exchange, 
uh, you're getting exclusive discounts. So this retails for um, $500. And then you get an exclusive discount every single day when you do shop my exchange or when you buy stuff in your exchange, right? We're doing an additional $50 promotion today. And we're including this uh, container as a free gift with purchase. So the value that we're adding is unbelievable. It's about $150 that you get when you pick up your Vitamix during this promotion. So we're really excited about it. And All I right, just want to highlight too, the promotion is yeah, not ahead. just today. So if you need to wait like for payday, um, then, <laughs> yeah. then this promotion, we'll get the dates for you in the comments, but the promotion is not just only today. That's right. So I'm going to make some peanut butter ice cream and um, this is going to go great with something I made earlier. I'll show you in a second, but this is our leftover peanut butter. So I told you we were going to use it. Sometimes when you make peanut butter, some of it gets stuck under those blades. It's a little hard to get out. It's worth it to scrape it all out because it's delicious. But my favorite way to get this peanut butter out of the container is to just make ice cream. Why not? Right? Everybody loves a good frozen treat, especially when it's hot like it is now. So I'm going to use a little sweetener. This is agave. You can use honey. You can use agave. You could use dates or make a date syrup. Um, that'll work as well. And you can flavor this however you want as well. It's delicious if you put a couple tablespoons of chocolate in here. You can put chocolate chips. I think the last time I made this, I added chocolate, but I don't have any back here with me right now. So we're going to just make this into a classic peanut butter ice cream. And... The last thing I'm gonna add is ice. So I keep saying ice cream over and over. You'll notice there's one ingredient <clears throat> missing right now and that's the cream. And this is why I love making ice cream in the Vitamix because the main ingredient, you see I'm putting tons of ice. I, I just filled this with about four cups of ice. And the reason I, I love it is because ice has no calories. It's the lowest calorie thing you can eat. So to make this much ice cream, but with this much ice, you're really lowering your calorie content. So if you get traditional ice cream, you're going to have about 300 calories and a half a cup serving. I don't know about anyone else, but who only eats a half a cup of ice cream, right? We all <laughs> eat a lot more than that. So make yourself something healthy. You don't have to feel guilty. So we're going to go ahead and blend this up. I'll get my lid ready here. And this has an ice cream setting. We have been using these settings the whole time. You saw me use the setting for the soup and the ice and the uh, smoothie. So now we'll use our ice cream setting. And you see it sets the timer for 35 seconds. I am gonna have you uh, mute me out, Leah, and Larissa, you guys can chat some more about your favorite desserts maybe. Um, and I'm gonna turn this on, but 35 seconds, we'll be ready to go. Okay. Absolutely. My family making the ice creams. We do a lot of fresh fruit sorbets with just frozen fruit and a little bit of fruit juice or a little bit of liquid. Uh, the great thing is you can make these ice creams lactose free, sugar free if you're diabetic. It's just it's an easy way to tailor your desserts and still be able to enjoy them at home. And one of my favorite ways to use this as well is the peanut butter banana ice cream if you're not a big chocolate fan. Just throw some bananas in there with the peanut butter and a little bit of milk and ice and you've got a delicious uh, peanut butter banana ice cream. And hey, Leah. Yes. The banana went out with the raisin. Say that again. Do you know why the banana went out with the raisin? Hmm. I don't know. Do you want to tell me? Because he couldn't find a date. <laughs> <laughs> Larissa, I wanted to tell you that you have a shout out from Tony Coleman. He said to tell you hi. Hi. So does it look like Tarina is ready to go? It, yeah. she is. Yes, I am ready to go. All right. So we've got our ice cream all set here. I'm just getting my little, here we go. I'm going to make it fancy for you guys. So check this out. We just turned some ice and peanut butter into ice cream. And this is really cool. Look, it's frozen solid. <laughs> if you're brave enough to do that in your kitchen, I applaud you. But perfect <laughs> ice cream. And let's go ahead and scoop this out here. So I'm a three scoop gal. And like I was just saying to y'all, you know, <laughs> You don't have to feel guilty about filling up your entire bowl with ice cream when you make it from scratch in your Vitamix. It is gonna turn out perfect. You're gonna love it. 
and you do not have to feel guilty about the calories. So doesn't that look so good? And let's just go ahead and kick it over to this other camera because I want to show you how we're going to reuse this fruit syrup we made. So this was our strawberry syrup from earlier. Peanut butter ice cream with strawberry syrup. It's kind of like a peanut butter and jelly dessert. Look at that. Um, you guys know I'm going to eat this, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. It's so good. But that's just a few things you can make in your Vitamix. We just took maybe 20, 25 minutes to show you guys a few things that you can do. The possibilities of the Vitamix are endless. And especially when you get this 48 ounce container, I know you guys were talking about making smaller portions. That is great for that. We also, I just wanna show you the other model that we do have a promo for right now, and that's our E310. So this is our E310. You see, it's a little bit different. This actually has a 48 ounce container that comes standard with it. This will only come with this one container. It doesn't have the smart, um, the smart detect technology like this one does, but this is an amazing product as well. And the price is a lot lower. You're going to save probably close to 180 to $200 when you pick up this model. And we also have this one on sale. So great promotion. If you're interested in knowing the prices, you can click the links. I believe that Leah has everything linked below. Uh, so if you, you want to go it. to the Vitamix store at Shop My Exchange, you can check it out there. And just so you guys know, I truly love the Vitamix. I've been using a Vitamix my entire life, even before I knew what it was. Um, this one back here, I don't know if you can see, but this is a Vitamix 3600. And my mom actually made my baby food in this Vitamix machine. Oh, wow. 30 plus years ago. So this still works. And you see it's a all stainless steel. It kind of looks like a spaceship, but I, it really helped instill healthy habits into me. And we have so many great memories making soup in that Vitamix. And my mom made me ice cream. I didn't even know what real ice cream was because my mom used to make me stuff like this. So until I got to kindergarten and somebody brought ice cream in for a birthday, I was like, what is this stuff? I thought ice cream came from fruit. So it's a really great way to make baby food for your kids, have fun making smoothies together. You can really get the whole family involved in something like this. Hey, Tarina. Yeah, I'd like I'd like to uh, to let everyone know your age. Tarina's <laughs> actually eighty four years old. That's right. <laughs> she wow. She's grown up on a Vitamix. All those fruits and veggies I eat keeps me looking young. <laughs> so I do have a question for you guys. Um, there's also, I believe, um, some while you're talking about promotions. There's a promotion on on a scale. Is that, is that right? Yes. So okay. we have our perfect blend scale that actually connects to the A2500 machine through Bluetooth and it'll weigh and measure everything as you build the recipe. So you connect it to your smartphone or your tablet, and then you also connect it to your machine. And once you've uh, built the recipe, you just place the container on the machine and it'll send the program. You saw me setting the programs for the smoothie, frozen dessert, and hot soup, that app actually has over 20 programs built in. So I know somebody did ask a question about making peanut butter or hummus in a smaller container. Well, you can pick up these containers. There's a promo on these as well. And um, there's a program through that Perfect Blend app where you can make a single serving of nut butter uh, right inside one of these. So it's a really awesome technology. Um, literally just Bluetooth connects to your phone. It's the future of blending for sure is here. <laughs> with these Vitamix machines. Okay. That's good because somebody was asking earlier, you may not have heard us cause you were blending, but somebody was asking about making smaller batches of peanut butter and hummus. Yes. Yeah, so the cool thing about the 48 ounce container is you can do as small as a one cup serving of most things in here, the 64 ounce container, you're going to want at least about three cups before you're going to be want to blend anything. So that's why I'm so excited that this container is coming as a gift with purchase because it really makes it so you can do anything. And, you know, Vitamix makes a great gift as well. I know a lot of you are thinking about this for yourself, but think about, you know, that elderly person in your life that might be struggling to meet their health goals successfully. Just adding one smoothie a day into their diet could make a world of difference for them. So think about that, um, college kid who might just be starting off and you want to send them away to school with something that you know will keep them healthy. A Vitamix is a great option for them as well. Um, 
So just some options for you to think about when you are deciding on, you know, whether or not to pick up a Vitamix today. They really are amazing. So real quick, um, before we go, I think those are all of the recipes that you have for us, but before we go, I just want to read through some of the comments and what, <clears throat> excuse me, what people are saying. So Mary Lou says, love that it's a U.S. product. Um, we, Scott says, love our Vitamix, love making soup with it. Sean says, Vitamix is most used kitchen appliance we have. It makes everything from juice, smoothie, ice cream, and soup, not to mention dips, spreads, sauces, and fondue. Couldn't live without it. That's awesome. Do I, Larissa, have I missed any of the comments? And from what I can see, that's, that's pretty much what I've seen. Let's see here. Yeah. Tarina, is there anything else that you want to share with us? Any tips? So we have, we've created a Pinterest board with all the recipes used from today. We'll keep adding to that. That link is in the comments as well. The link to all the products used today and that are on sale is also in the comments, plus a link to all Vitamix on shopmyexchange.com. And I just want to remind you guys that this is a military exclusive discount available through your exchanges. Um, and it's available in store and online and you can get the links in the comments. Yes. So the last thing I would say is get one as soon as you can. So you can start enjoying stuff like this. Cause this smoothie is so good. Even after it's been sitting here for like 20 minutes, so cold and creamy, mm. get your Vitamix. It's so good. <laughs> So Tarina and Larissa, thank you so much for your time and for everybody watching. Thanks for joining us um, and stay tuned. And we may have some more Vitamix demos, more recipes coming to you. Thanks, Leah. Awesome. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>